Welcome to part 5 of the router hacking video series. Now in part 4, we saw how to use the SNMP enumerator utility to go ahead and launch SNMP attacks. Now in this video, we are going to demonstrate another utility using which SNMP information can be pulled from the router. So let's quickly log into the router to verify that SNMP is enabled and basically that a community string is assigned with read write permission. So even a read only permission would also do. So there it is, community public authorization read write. Let's log out from the router and now go to our backtrack instance. Now we are in the directory enumeration SNMP enum. Right, let's go ahead and look at this file called cisco.txt in the same directory. Now, those of you who are familiar with SNMP know that SNMP consists of what is called MIBs or management information bases. Basically, this is nothing but a tree uh, of the various kinds of information which can be available via SNMP. So, as you can see, uh, you know, there is this dotted notation which is basically how you traverse the SNMP MIB and then pick out the final leaf node defined by these numbers. So I will not go into detail of SNMP and SNMP basic. I will leave that to the user to go ahead and figure it out. The basic idea is Cisco.txt, Linux.txt and Windows.txt contains various SNMP MIP descriptions using which we can get a particular kind of information from the device. So you know, Linux.txt has a couple of others as well. For example, you know, you have the running process, system info and whatnot. Now let's go ahead and run the SNMP enum program. So it expects three inputs, the IP address of the router, the community string and then the configuration file. Now the config file is nothing but uh, any one of the Cisco Linux or Windows.txt files which have a description of exactly what information needs to be pulled out or requested via SNMP from that device. So let's go ahead, run SNMP even, give the IP address of the router. The community string right now as we know is public and let's go ahead and give cisco.txt as the input file. So as you will notice, as soon as we run this, a lot of messages are printed where, uh, you know, here we see the interfaces have been pulled out. However, there are no interface descriptions, system info is just viata. So basically this information depends on the kind of requests which we send via SNMP and which one of those information does the router have. Now we can also try out a similar example with Linux.txt. And we find a lot of other information here, just like in the previous video. See the major takeaway is that one needs to have an exhaustive list of all the SNMP, uh, you know, MIBs using which you can query this particular device for whatever information it provides via SNMP. And that is where at times you can even visit the manufacturer website of the router or the device from which you're pulling out SNMP information and there they would have an exhaustive listing of all the info you can pull out of SNMP. So well that's all for this video. Uh, the key takeaway is that look at you know Viata's SNMP description on your website. See if you can get hold of the MIBs from the Viata router. There's a directory where you have all the dumps and from that probably try writing your own config file for SNMP you know. That's all for this video, would request you to leave a comment behind as that encourages me to make more videos. Thank you.